What's up, painting friends? Welcome back. I'm Steph Maraca, a fine artist from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but you guys can call me Stoof. This week, I'm gonna pick back up with my little uh, artist vlog where I'm documenting the paintings that I've been working on in the past month in preparation for my solo exhibition at the Spinning Plate Gallery in Pittsburgh in October of 2021. Last month was my first vlog where I just kind of showcased five of my paintings that I prepared for the show. One of those paintings already sold. That was the Telluride Mountain acrylic painting. Now focusing on the month of May, the paintings that I worked on. I had a pretty productive month in the studio in May. I got as much studio time in as I could because I know I'm gonna be out and about this summer. I'm excited to get back to spending time with friends and going out and doing stuff. So I locked myself down in May and got a lot of work done. Here is the first painting that I completed. This one's called Compliments of Sunset Point. This painting is 11 by 14 inches oil on canvas panel. This one was inspired by Sunset Point at Bryce Canyon National Park. This painting was completed fully in my studio from a reference photograph I took. Sunset Point is just a short walk from the parking area and there are some little loop hikes that come down from that section. So right before I did the hike, so early in the morning, around 8 a.m. I guess, I got this photo and the sun is over here to the east and it's just illuminating all the beautiful snow and the colors of these rocks and sediments and then casting these shadows on the back side. And there, there are a lot of complementary colors in this piece. We have the oranges and the blues, a little bit of yellow, purple vibes. So I called this one Compliments of Sunset Point based on the complementary colors in this painting. Next, we go to Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. This painting is called Great Sand Dunes Sunrise. This one, I believe I did a video for this on my channel. If you're interested in looking at that, I'll leave a link for that in the description under this video. Uh, but this one was also completed in my studio, referencing a photo I took of sunrise at Great Sand Dunes National Park. I went to this spot where I watched the sand dunes. I was there um, probably 10, 15 minutes before sunrise time and sunrise time came and went and I didn't see any sunlight hitting these sand dunes. It just started to hit the top of these mountains up here and I realized, oh, there's a mountain range to the east that is blocking all of the light here on these dunes. So I had to wait for probably like 45 minutes before the dunes even got lit up by the sunlight because the sun had to rise over the mountains kind of are behind it and they wrap around to the east. So I had to wait for the sun to rise over those mountains to illuminate these dunes. And it still is a very cool, calm feel. It didn't really heat these up and give it a dramatic pop of color and light. It still had a very calm feel. So I liked that about the sunrise there. And next I painted the sunset. Let's go grab that one. So as you can see, the sunset is pretty different than the sunrise at Great Sand Dunes National Park. This one's called Great Sand Dunes Sunset. So both of these are acrylic paints on canvas panel, 12 inches by 16 inches. Uh, both of these have been varnished. That's why they have that kind of a um, little bit of a reflective property to them. The sunset is very different than the sunrise. The sunset is so warm the light is just so warm on these dunes and on the mountains. And then it has this deep purple cast behind it. Totally different from like the cool blues at sunrise. So I thought that was cool. And I'm planning on putting these two pieces next to each other in the exhibit if um, neither of them sell before October. They will definitely be next to each other so you can compare and contrast sunrise versus sunset at Great Sand Dunes National Park. All right, this next one is a fan favorite. Everybody really likes lighthouses for some reason. <laughs> I like to paint them. Uh, they're beautiful. I just, I, I like landscapes without any buildings in them 
as a personal preference, but a lot of people really like lighthouses. So I completed this painting. This is oil on canvas panel. I had a quick mini tutorial, kind of just walking through my painting process in a different video on my channel. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below this video as well, if you would like to read about that. Uh, but this painting is 12 inches by 16 inches on canvas panel. This original painting already sold. The client that purchased this painting actually visits this lighthouse every year, so I'm glad that it's going to somebody that has a really personal connection to this piece. That makes me happy. Now for the paintings that are still wet, <laughs> but will be dry by the time this video airs. This is Navajo Arch in Arches National Park. This one, I decided to keep the brushwork a little bit looser. Uh, and focus more on just the color and the values in this painting uh, because that seemed like it gave it a little bit more emotion than focusing on the details. So I liked that about this one. This is 11 inches by 14 inches on canvas panel. This is oil paint. Uh, this one is not varnished yet, so it probably doesn't have any glare yet. It might have a little glare from the paint still being wet, but that's about it. Uh, but this is just a really peaceful little spot. I do have a few more paintings lined up for Arches National Park in June. There were a lot of awesome photos I took from Arches that I'm looking forward to turning into studio paintings. Finally, we have this large piece here. This one is pine cones in Pine Creek Canyon in Zion National Park. This painting was 24 inches by 30 inches. I have a frame for it already. This one already sold as well. I wanted to focus more on like the tiny details and the tiny beautiful things in Zion National Park rather than like the main features that everybody instantly recognizes. Uh, I do want to paint those things too, but I like focusing more on the intricate little beautiful things that make that park so beautiful as a whole. Uh, since we spent a couple weeks in Zion National Park, I came to understand the park a lot more and started to really appreciate the little things in the park rather than just the big things. So that's why I wanted to paint something like this. Um, but yep, this one already sold as well. So we have four paintings that are available from May and four paintings that are available from April still. Uh, so just email me info at stephmaracafineart.com if you're interested in purchasing a painting i will get back to you i can send you additional images of the artwork so to conclude this artist vlog i finished one two three four five six more pieces for the show uh, two of them sold i know this one is going to come back for the exhibit in October, so we'll have five there. So I am on track um, to have my 40 pieces for the show. I also created the Facebook event. It's all starting to come together and I'm not feeling as anxious now that I had such a good month in May. I feel like I got a lot more done and we're on the right track and I'm starting to plan. So I'm feeling good right now, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you are interested in a piece or you have any questions about one of these paintings, then just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you guys. Happy painting and have a great day. Bye bye.